Hello, I'm Kath. And I'm Carolyn. We'd like to welcome you to a series of four short talks on 21st century learning. In each talk, we'll be covering a different aspect of this subject. Skills, tools, content and context. But before we consider individual areas, we should just take a moment to answer two questions. What and why? So firstly, what do we mean by 21st century learning? It's a very broad term, which you hear quite often in ELT circles at the moment, and it does sound impressive. It sounds as though everything has suddenly changed in the ELT classroom. In fact, what we're really talking about is a gradual shift as more and more ELT content can be delivered via digital technology. This is combined with the realisation that education now takes place in a world which is more global, more interactive and filled with more accessible information than it was even 10 years ago. To explore the differences further, it might help to make a comparison with the previous century in general terms. So what have we got? 20th century learning versus 21st century learning. We used to have learning for school, now learning for life. A one-size-fits-all approach versus something more personalised. Something teacher-centred, moving to something more student-centred. Something that was very classroom-based and local, to something more appropriate for a global community. Text space, to something that's digitally based and web-based. A more strict curriculum, to a more project-based approach. Something competitive versus something collaborative something focused on tests and your individual score to something more evaluative and reflections on that. And secondly, why is it important to think about 21st century learning? It's impossible to separate the points we've just mentioned from an awareness that as teachers we need to equip students with appropriate learning skills for a digital age. We live in a world where there's a continuous barrage of information in so many different forms. There are benefits and downsides. So it's important to take time to consider what 21st century learning actually means in practice when we're teaching foreign languages. 